Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. We're dedicated to delivering quality auto parts, expert customer service, fast and free shipping, all backed by our 100% satisfaction guarantee. So visit us at 1AAuto.com, your trusted source for quality auto parts. In this video, we're going to be working with our 2006 Chrysler 300 3.5 liter V6. We're going to show you how to remove and replace your engine's throttle body and clean any carbon deposits and build up off of it to get air flowing through your engine smoothly. If you like this video, please click subscribe. We have a ton more information on this car as well as many other makes and models. And if you need parts for your vehicle, you can follow the link down in the description over to 1AAuto.com. Here are the items you'll need for this repair. Open the hood latch on your vehicle. Open it fully. We'll loosen the clamp at the throttle body with a flat blade screwdriver. You may want to disconnect this sensor. Looks like ours has been glued on because the clip is broken. So you can also Simply pop it out of the boot. Disconnect the connector from the throttle body. Again, we have one of those little red safety tabs we have to push down. And then we'll push down the tab and remove the connector. We'll remove the two 10 millimeter nuts from the throttle body. Remove the two 15 millimeter bolts at the bottom of the throttle body bracket. We're doing this with a 15 millimeter socket and ratchet. And remove the bracket from the throttle body. Remove the four 10 millimeter bolts on your throttle body with a 10 millimeter socket and ratchet. Remove the last bolt, remove your throttle body from the intake. Spray some intake and throttle body cleaner onto the carbon deposits on the back side of your throttle body blade and using a nylon brush, go ahead and start cleaning that off of there. Occasionally you'll want to spray it down and remove all the debris you've loosened up. Give it another scrub until everything's nice and clean. Now the front of our throttle body is still nice and clean, so we're just gonna give it a quick spray to knock out any debris that we may have pushed in. And we'll open that blade up by hand. Just knock down anything sitting in that ridge. Now that our throttle body is nice and clean, we're ready to reinstall it on our vehicle. There are alignment tabs for when you set the throttle body back onto the intake manifold. Be sure to utilize those. Once the throttle body is set into place, you can reinstall your 10 millimeter hardware. These studded ones go on the outside here. All the regular bolts will go to the two inside ones. Reconnect the electrical connector onto the throttle body. Lock the safety tab back into place. You can now set the support bracket back over the throttle body bolts. Make sure it doesn't get caught up in any of the wiring down below. We'll spin our two 10 millimeter nuts on at the top by hand just to keep that in place. Reinstall the two 15 millimeter bolts at the bottom of the bracket by hand. Tighten up the two 15 millimeter bolts at the bottom of the bracket with your socket and ratchet. 
Tighten up the two 10 millimeter nuts at the top. Install the other end of the intake boot onto the throttle body. Tighten it up with your flat blade screwdriver. Reinstall the coolant tank line bracket on the side of the intake tube. Reinstall the map sensor into the intake tube. And earlier when we removed our intake, I wanted to wait until we had the intake tube reinstalled to make sure this all lined up properly. Now that we've got it where it needs to be, we'll go ahead and tighten that down. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.